Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to organize your listing photos in Matrix. Now, before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same. And for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so for anyone who's familiar with Matrix, you already know how easy it is to upload your listing photos, either by selecting the images from the dialog box or dragging and dropping them directly from a folder. But what you've probably already discovered is that by doing this, your images may not be sorted in the order that you prefer. Fortunately, the Listings Photo Manager allows you to arrange your images exactly as you'd like them to appear. To do this, you can either drag a photo individually or from a specific photo's actions, move it to the beginning of our photos, move it forward one photo, move it backwards one photo, or move it to the end of all of our photos. We're also able to select a group of photos that we'd like to rearrange. And you'll notice that when I do this, Matrix automatically applies a sorting order to each of the chosen photos indicating the exact order that they'll appear in once they've been moved. So let's go ahead and drag these images to their new position. And you'll notice that they now appear in the same numerical order as when they were first selected. All right, and finally, if you'd like to quickly shift multiple images to the beginning or to the end of your photos, simply select each of the photos that you'd like to move. And then from the actions list, Choose to place them either at the beginning or at the end. And again, you can see that they now appear there in the exact same order that they were selected. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.